Let's do it. We're just a ta. We're just a topple. You're I because I just what? I got Alzheimer's. This is why you can't start. I'm the one that has to start. You FF. I was trying to say we're a couple. Of, I was about to say we're a couple of FFs, cute kids, and true blues, and I got tangled up and tongue tied between all three. You got tongue tied. I'm between, indecisive. By the way, real quick, I just want to shout out, even though they're not a sponsor of the podcast. Schmidt, how water department. Um, shout out Matt Klein Schmidt. I think that's his last name. Um, he's uh he runs um Riotcast right now, and he just got um he just got me and Yanni hooked up with this, um, a subscription to Blue Chews, which are the erectile dysfunction drug, and I uh, don't need them, but I did send them to my boy Pat Finnegan, Patty Fly Ball. So, Patty, if you're listening, congratulations. You're going to be rock hard for summer. Because I just took a Blue Chew. I got a boner right now. Pewing! 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 <laughs> Because yes. yeah, they're gonna they're gonna advertise on our oh they our will yeah. yeah so we it was interesting because you I thought that's what that email was about I uh, thought that kid Matt is screwed in I know kid Matt is screwed in well let's be honest he can't be that screwed in but he's screwed in enough yeah um he he um. He basically, yeah, I think they're going to start, we're going to read ads for them, but they did give us a, sus- a subscription to it for free, but because it's like a dr- actual drug, I had to, I sent them right to Patty Fly Ball's house, yeah. but they had to, Patty had to fill out all this stuff, but then they, a doctor had to FaceTime me, and I had to prove that it was me and put my license as my information, but just a different address. Oh, well, it's great that you're admitting this on a public podcast, so, yeah. that, you're, you commit that they're sponsoring. Yeah, and like, yeah, it's just a crime what you did. It's called fraud. It's medical malpractice, and you should lose your fucking physical therapy license. No, well, obviously, I was kidding. I have the. Um... Yeah, you shouldn't be allowed to touch anyone. You should not be able to touch anyone physically. Yeah, touch it physically. Because you are just. By myself, I'll take you physically. You're just. There we go. Look who's decided to, to join show the, up. the fucking show up. He's a 23 year old kid. He's got tatted fingers. He went to a school where he twirled around and danced. Give it up for Zach Isis. Zach Isis. Fucking okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and uh, Vanity is in here. Thank you. You brought your grandma's cookies. They're really good. I'm, I'm, I ate one and then stuck another one up my ass. <laughs> we got uh, Mike Emoji Faces here, and I gave Mike Emoji Face. I just want to say congratulations to him. Um, I got into the podcast um, about 45 minutes ago. I was the first one here with Mike, and I went to um, Bagel Schmagel in Bay Ridge, and I got um, an egg white sandwich, and I got a muffin because I'm feeling a little down. So I got a toasted blueberry muff with butter, and then they gave me a second toasted blueberry muff with butter, and I didn't want to eat it so i gave it to mike mush and i just want to say congratulations because he's been looking at that muffin for 45 minutes and hasn't taken a bite <laughs> <laughs> so i just want to say congrats that's a record yeah well you know this is let's just be crystal clear about something all right i'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna just go all cc about what mike mush is doing right now yeah because i'm familiar yeah i'm familiar yeah there's people around right now so yeah. mike mush pretends yeah that he doesn't mess with that stuff he's like you know what right now i'm just doing salads I'm not even doing the croutons. I removed the croutons from the salad, and that's his public face. Yeah. But underneath his floorboards in his little studio apartment or wherever he lives, <laughs> yeah. he's got a little Snickers cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. where in private, he's going to fucking no. eat that muffin. I know what you're saying. He's going to go to the bathroom and fuck that muffin. I'm fuck that muffin. <laughs> no, I, I'm, t- I'm, I'm being... I'm going to fuck uh, that muffin. I'm going to fuck... Th- uh, no, I'm being honest. He... It was just me and him. He could have fucking cracked it open and cleaned it out immediately, but he just put it down behind him, so I'm proud for him. Now, I, now I'm not saying the minute we leave, the fucking aluminum foil may even be gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen. He may take the whole thing. Yeah, he's going um, to put it. He's swallow it one bite. But for right now, I just want to say congrats. Um, Zach, for the first time ever, was late for the podcast. First so, time. We first say. time ever, truly. So Zach's always on time. Which is surprising because he's fully muzzed out. Yeah. And those people don't respect time because yeah. I'm, I'm a muzz. 
Um, I'm, you know, Greeks are late, and I and I got some muzz in me, yeah. genetically, yeah. and I'm always running late. And Zach is very German about. He's very like you. He's very punctual. You. Yeah, I'm on time. Benetia was late, but that's Greek time. She's yeah. running on Greek time. I mean, the minute I'm a, I'm allowed to check in for my flights, I check in for them. I'm yeah. talking about the the second in 24 hours before I fucking check in, and I'm just waiting, and then I check in because cause I'm a German kid, and you, the, this world needs a little bit more efficiency. So you want to clean? I want to clean. I fucking fourth right. <laughs> Wei Song Xie. <laughs> Thank you. You were you were right on with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, listen, you're a type of kid, you're always standing at attention. You're always very pewing. Yeah, I'm always very <laughs> pewing. And I always, as Giannis you're said, You're ready I, to go. I always have the national anthem playing in my head, and I did for the first time in my career, and it's a thing that I'm gonna do every time. I came out to the national anthem at my shows in the Dayton Funny Bone. It, that is That's, a true story. That was my walkout music. Our last walk and talk was one hundred percent unadulterated hyena level wild. Yeah, I mean you you were I was I was I was for the first time questioning whether we should put that out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was wild. And yeah. then we thought of it screwed an idea. We gave it for the ten dollars. We have a cackle version. Yeah. For the twenty five dollar members, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. You can hear the uncackled version of what our walk and talk was yesterday. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. That's what we're gonna start to do now. Yeah. Ten dollars are gonna get the cackled version. Yeah. The fucking not explicit, the made for TV. Yeah. And the twenty five dollars are gonna get Full, unadulterated, raw gay sex. Mazel, mazel. Yeah. We are fucking screwed in. You're going to fucking listen to that podcast and then get HPV in your ears. Yeah. And there was one uh, <laughs> Patreon member, one of our members of the matriarchy who posted, since the situation with the mother's been resolved by that guy banging her out, yeah. we've been screwed in. We've and the Patreon content is back and fucking above expectation. Yeah, absolutely. I just want to shout out whatever that guy's name is. Thank you so much for helping me resolve the situation with the mother. Did you see that comment? Because since the situation with the mother's been resolved by the guy who's banging her out, you guys have been great on the Patreon. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank we you. We also got a team now. Yeah, we got a fucking team. Because we got a fucking history hyenas team. team. And, and we, got a, we got a millennial on it. We got a millennial, but more importantly, because again, as much as, as much as I know that like, you know, we all have a good time there before Venetia came, we, you know, we would tuck our dicks back and we would say, we're the matriarch, we're the matriarch, and we, we all want to have pussies. I know that. Yeah. But we weren't born with them but Venetia was Venetia was born she was created yeah. actually you know hyenas are a matriarchal woman female driven society and we, we were playing pretend that we were we were in our herds gazing Serengeti without a female leader so we not were just herds, around cackles, cackles, yeah. yeah we were just around just throwing our pseudo penises around and cackling and not really doing anything but now that we have a true female hyena leading us yes. things are getting better we got a matriarch and she's already like that's how Greeks do it they show up a little late and then they just start bossing people around yeah. And giving people cookies. Yeah, and giving people cookies. That's and what she, a Greek mother does. And she already told Mike Emoji Face that it designed for the cuties of smoothies t shirt <laughs> sucked. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids spent all day on it. She said it looks too anime. And make no mistake, that's the face of a kid who loves anime. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Cause it's Mikey. Cause that's a kid who likes anime. Just a kid who's in shorts 12 months a year. Cause watch what I'm gonna do right now. Listen, we are fucking screwed in. We are creating a new level. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. We are now supporting artists. If yes. you're a musician or a comedian like Raj Pasca, you got fucking grandfathered in at the hundred dollar level. The hundred dollar level is now closed because our podcast is getting big. We're fucking growing. We're too big. So if you're gonna advertise with us, you're gonna have to give us a little bit Good more money. money. So if you are an artist, you can join at our two hundred and fifty dollar level. If you want to promote your music or whatever, we want to support artists just like you're supporting us. So we'll spread the word about you. And for our business sponsors, it's five hundred dollars. That's what it is. But we have a two hundred and fifty dollar. Don't try to get slick. Don't try to get fucking slick because we will Google you and we will find out that you're just a dumb fucking you you. You're a dumb fucking startup app company and you're trying to pretend like you're a banjo player and get it at 250. We will do the research because yeah. we're fucking screwed in and we're surrounded by Jews. Yeah. Can I get a crumb? No, I need a Wei Zhang Jin, goddammit. I know you're Wei Song Xian. Yeah, he's only used to giving them to you, but once in a while, I go too wild as well. Wei Song Xian. I just want to also give a shout out to any of the people who um who have listened um to this podcast. I was with Sal Volcano this past weekend, and he told me that the episode between me, Giannis, and Tim Dillon did, where we just shit on the Impractical <laughs> Jokers cruise, that I'm not allowed on the cruise now. I got banned from the cruise because the fans hate, hate me so much, and the other guys of the Impractical Jokers 
much heard it, and I'm not allowed on the fucking cruise, but I listened to the episode. A lot of the things that you think I was saying that Practical Jokers fans think was my voice, it was Tim Dillon saying it, yeah. not me. So you guys just cost me fucking 5K, you scumbags. Yeah, but you also did say that you, you also admitted on the podcast that you gave an excuse, but you were lying. Yeah, and then it's just one of those things that happened where Sal had to look at me in the back of the cab and be like, did you... Did you make something up? And I was like, no, I really had a situation. I had a situation with the, the mother. mother. And he was like, because you could just be honest with me. And I was like, yeah. So it was just one of those things where, like, Chrissy Green Lights, where I just, for a moment, was like, oh, maybe I should have went on the red light. Because there's moments in life where it's just a better idea to fib. To fib, yeah. And you you may do a quickie fibby. Yeah. You may, but it, you, you don't feel comfy one for you inside a quick, a fibby whippy. I don't feel comfy. And eventually you're just going to say what it is. And say what it is, because make no mistake, I, I really, every single day now, as I've gotten older, I just strive to be comfy one feet all the time yeah. throughout the day. And the way I'm, the way I've realized is, is, is to get optimal comfy one feet for me is to try not to lie as much, to try not to put too much on my plate and to, and, and I guess I, I try not Unless to lie. Unless it's a two. Unless, Unless it's, it's a two. two. You're not going to tell no, the truth about where you I haven't intercourse in a month. Yeah, that's a lie. That's good. I can see it in your face. Yeah, no, yeah, it's no, go. Look me in the face again and tell me you didn't have 30 to. days. 30 days. Yeah, that's a lie. Well, no, well, whenever, when's the last time, when do we go off to pizza? I don't know, but I know It was probably three weeks ago. You telling me your dick hasn't been pewing in 30 days? Oh, no, it's been pewing. I've been fucking jerking off a lot. It's Pride Month. I've been spinning the wheel on Pornhub, and then make no mistake, it's been landing a little bit too much on gay on gay male on male sex. But it's just what it is. That's the only way I can get pewing, but I haven't had sex with a woman, and it feels very good, and I got Cluster Fest this weekend in San Francisco, and there are four women flying to San Francisco to potentially have sex with me, and I don't want to... I didn't invite any we're of on them. The podcast I didn't now. invite yeah. any of them. We were, do we need to cackle that? Maybe, but I didn't <laughs> do invite any the of podcast? them. I don't want anybody to come. I just want to hang out with guys because you only listen ladies i didn't mention any names there's four of you he's only got one penis that math doesn't add no, up no i don't no, no no i i don't have any penis i don't want to do anything Cause do you understand like i i've been feeling so good in my life not dealing with women there's gonna it's be, been great there's gonna be a I, time where your penis looks back up at you yeah and goes i've had enough yeah i can't go pewing anymore <laughs> I, can't go pewing. <laughs> I need a blue chew i need a blue chew you've worn me out yeah because your penis is aging in dog years yeah it's an old it's vietnam veteran yeah can we please get an animator to animate chrissy's yeah. penis and make it sound like an old grizzled uh, vietnam go on Giannis Pappas' instagram and listen to the video of his dad and just think that's what my penis is yeah that's what, that's what my penis is just saying I look pretty fucking good for a 90 year old guy cause you're a fucking 35 year old kid to be and your penis is a 90 year old man who's fought in a Korean war yeah my, my yeah my penis is a fucking guy that loves to paint cause it's just what it is uh, watch how screwed in I am right now. Oh, here we go. We're brought to you by 9th Street Auto Collision, CBD Script, uh, Vidora Raj Pasca. Use uh, 15% off. If you want 15% off, go to CBD Script. You get that, that, they're fucking CBD oil. All right, just use the promo code Hyenas15. You get 15% yes. off CBD Script. 9th Street Auto Collision, they're fucking out on the island. If you got a problem with your car, they'll crack it open and clean it out. Give them a call. 631. I know it by heart now. 3515300. Boom. Nutrition made fun. That kid's eyes are way far apart. And people have been sending cartoons. He's your like nemesis. Face. Yours yeah. are too close. His are too far apart. Me and him are going to have to square off in the octagon. Kid's ripped up, though. He's ripped up nutrition made fun go follow him on instagram on instagram nutrition made fun the kids uh he's got all types of plans for you to get healthy and then of course a healthy happy smile cosmetic dentistry that's uh a healthy happy smile.com or you can follow him on instagram healthy smile uh dr harvey spencer jr and his piece of a wife are cracking teeth open and, and cleaning, cleaning them out, out down in rock Heel South and I Carolina. just got I just got a quick um, Instagram message from Joey Camaster, Mister P seventy nine on Instagram. Uh, Snooky's co host on their on their lovely podcast, um, happening podcast. It's happening podcast with Snooky and Joey. He's going to be our guest coming up, but he just sent me a message. Said, "Okay, I'll be there by one. You boys need to be blindfolded on all fours when I arrive. Strictly anonymous pump and dump. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> so just FYI, and we're all go uh, Vidora Rajpaska live right from the sandbox." 
Bats, live from the sandbox.com. Check him out. He's a comedian in Berlin. He's Who the best. cannot open for me at the Soho Theater, I was just told. Yeah, by ice. Yeah, it's no, just not what ice. it is. That would be, uh, Soho Theater, uh, Vidora, if you're listening, uh, you can't open for me. I, it's only got room for one comic. Sorry. It's what it is. Sorry, but still buy a ticket. And uh, the, <laughs> of course, the company that's getting over on us because they're a successful company and they keep growing. And Who, they Lakeside Maple? Yeah, they should be paying us more. Is, is that is that that's the kid with the eyes? That kid's no, that's not the kid with the eyes. Oh, that's nutrition made fun. That's nutrition made fun. That kid is a that kid is a nutritionist. Go He's follow. a good kid. That He's kid. He's a good kid. What is his name? Is uh, Matt Koch, yes. right? He's yeah. a good fucking kid. And uh, go follow him on Instagram. But Lakeside Maple, they actually have like they're in like. They're like Whole a warehouse foods. company. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and they got a great product. Like, this kid's going to be a fucking millionaire. Listen to me, all right? We're going to just cancel you at some point. We're just going to cancel your Patreon, <laughs> and you're going to have to send us bigger checks, and it's what it is. So Lakeside Maple, go check them out. Uh, it's it's granola. They bake them in pure makeup. The kid had a great idea, and he's crushing it. It's granola. It's baked in... Uh, Pure maple syrup, and you throw it in your yogurt. You throw it in. You throw it in your cottage cheese. Whatever type of FF you are, and yeah. Whatever you eat for breakfast, it goes with. Uh, you get if you want fifteen percent off your order, go to lakesidemaple.com And uh, what's the promo code again? Wild. So the promo code is wild. Go to lakesidemaple.com Go get this stuff, cause it's trail mix. It's delish. Go buy it and listen. You only got a couple weeks left before we hit you up for more money. Money. <laughs> Today we're gonna do an episode about Jack the Ripper, um, because uh, you fans, the Patreon members, have d decided that's that that's what got the most votes. Is you Jack the Ripper? So we're gonna get to that, um, and it's gonna be beautiful because there's a lot of things we got to talk about with Jack the Ripper. But I just want to mention real quick that Giannis was in Miami last weekend and he threw hands for the first time ever with Sergio. Yeah, one, two, three combos. Yeah, he. You know what Serge said to me? What? And uh, I really just wanted him to tell you, but he was like, you know, he, he was getting mad. Like, come on, man, stop. He just said, I'm a natural. Yeah. And he goes, wow, a kid's a natural. I yeah. Because I throw hands now. Yeah. And yeah. you could go righty or lefty. Yeah, because I'm ambidextrous. So it's just yeah. what it is. We were in Miami. There were hyena fans that came out to the show. Uh, it was great. Uh, thanks for coming out. We had a blast. It was me, Sergio, and Angelo. We're just moving Puerto Ricans across state lines. Yeah. It's what it's it is. what it is, right? Yeah, and now we want to. I want to play a game called "Is that Venetia or is that Giannis imitating Venetia?" Ready? Okay, let's go. Yeah, word, dope, dope. Yeah, I fucking like that. It's too anime. Do you guys? Yeah, dope, word, upper west till I die. I can't. Cause I'm gonna be in great. Sorry, guys, I'm a little late. It's fucking word. Dope. Okay, so that's either that may be Venetia or that may be Giannis impersonating Venetia. Now. Now, now let's try it again. Let's right? try it again. This could be me or Venetia, no. right? Yeah. <laughs> I think that the, it was like really nice. Though. You got to put her fucking mic on, Isis. <laughs> Do we pay him too much? <laughs> yeah. Do we just pay him too much? <laughs> okay, I think that it was a very nice t-shirt. It was just a tiny bit too anime, but like it's I it. We're going to make a new one and it's going to be it's going to be dope. Don't worry. Dope. 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 Yeah. Dope. yeah. <laughs> so who was it? Yeah. Who does that? Venetia or Yanni yeah. imitating Venetia? You'll never know. Was the first one Venetia or was the second one Venetia? You'll just never know. No. Word. Um, word. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. I got I got uh, I got a lot to do today, but I'm happy to be here. Cut. Uh, Can you keep her fucking mic on, you muzzy? <laughs> Can someone please call the Department of Homeland Security? <laughs> yeah, he's out of here. <laughs> With uh, Sergio, and I threw hands. How was yeah. it? It was fucking dope. It was so oh, fucking yeah. dope. Yeah. But where did you do it? In the hotel gym? Yeah, we did it in the hotel gym, and uh, we weren't supposed to be doing it. And eventually, someone from the hotel came and was like, "Hey guys, can you just like, because we just were throwing hands where like there was people who were staying at the hotel who were trying to just run on treadmills, and he was going like one, two, and I was just he didn't have any mitts, so I was just hitting his hands. And uh, yeah, it's just, I'm just a natural cause. I mean, I I should have been boxing earlier. You know, yeah. the thing is, here's what I, I got a mean streak. Here's what here's what I like about here's why I'm really happy that Giannis is boxing because I hope you that, can't wait to punch my face. No, because I th that's the thing about you is you keep saying you're a natural and then you do what you do and it's just clear you're not a natural. I'm an FF. Yeah, you're an FF. And Sir just said the same thing to me. He's a fucking liar. He's screwed in two trying to get us to give him his money. Yeah, he was. So the truth is, is that because you're a very arrogant guy, then you've, you've said this before, is the arrogant guys that step into the boxing ring get, when they spar get stretched out. I mean, because I want to fucking be there the first day. 
day. They're gonna make your head. You know, like when you know, like when the w Chinese women wear those rings to stretch out their necks. That's what your fucking head's gonna look like after a sparring match. And I just want to be. I want to be there when your headgear gets turned around and your glasses aren't <laughs> twisted on your face like the FF that you are. And then the true colors come out. And Sergio's just standing there with his mouthpiece dripping his fucking Puerto Rican sweat on you. I really want that to happen because you're an because the, the number one reason people get beat up in boxing because their egos and arrogance. Yeah, I'm gonna be stretched out quick. I mean, I'll learn my lesson though. The truth is, 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 is. I'm an FF. No, you're not an FF. The truth is, well, you are an FF. The truth is, though, with boxing, it's just such a beautiful thing to watch people just really just get the arrogance beating the fuck out of their face. Because Sergio, I've watched him spot. The only reason I'm saying this, I've watched arrogant guys step into the ring with Sergio, you know, training on the side at Overthrow and watch him spar people and his clients. And I mean, the way he beats their fucking heads in, yeah. and then you could just hear them round by round being less and less arrogant. By the fifth round, they're just, they're dead. Yeah. They're just, Well, yeah. you know what it is? It's like, uh, it's like uh, comedy. Remember, the first time I did comedy, I was like, oh my God, I'm amazing at this. Because right. like, all my friends and family were there just paid, you know, laughing to support. And then you just realize how bad you are at it. Yeah. Yep. So it's like, that's just, it seems like it's very similar to boxing. Because you're yeah, in there well, the alone, you think you're a superstar, and then you get stretched out a few times. Yeah. You know? Well, like yesterday, um, not, not yesterday, Monday, I, you know, I've been training with Sergio for a good amount of time now, and then we sparred, and he went for real, and 40 seconds, I, I like, won, I, like, quit. I basically quit. I was like, I can't do this. Yeah. And then he had to, like, go back to being, like, 10% speed, because you spar some, you hit the pads, and you do all that stuff, and it's great, but then, like, when you actually spar with someone who knows what they're doing, like, I don't, everything he taught me, it's just gone. Because he'll tell me, like, okay, I'm gonna, you know duck roll and then so you know what's happening but when you're just someone's throwing a punch at you you just combine the duck and roll and fall on the floor i almost didn't recognize you without your overthrow sweatshirt on yeah i'm wearing I'm all in. black today like a one of these trendy new priests yeah if you don't have a spin fh or uh yeah it what is it spin ff what is it <laughs> spin fh spin fh spin fh right yeah and yeah he's getting a lot of free promo but he's 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 a screwed in greek and he's your friend yeah if you're from queens if you live in queens go to spin fh in forest hills um, just Google Spin FH, um, and it's a spin studio. And there's a couple of uh, great instructors there. One of them's the situation with the mother. <laughs> so <laughs> go take her class, and then you'll just see the situation I deal with. Yeah, and if you're a $25 member, you may see an edited version of the situation with the mother. Yeah, I may have posted a picture of the situation with the mother. It's just what it is. I had a situation there yesterday, and I'm going to have a situation today. So, Vidura Raj Pasca is not can open for you. Vidura Raj Pasca, I was told by the Soho Theater that um, he's on a terrorist watch list and he that, can't. And they said, yeah. well, actually, they said um, that they don't do, um, we don't do support here. Yeah. It's just the headliner. Can you just go there and just tell them to stop? Just tell them, like, I'm gonna go with over the there. Hello, hello, just stop it. I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna say, listen, Nigel, whatever your dumb fucking name is. Yeah. Here's the truth. Let me be Chris. I got clear Fedora Raj Paco, Raj Pasca open for me. I got Mike Emoji Face opening for me. I got I got and I got Vanity opening for me. Yeah. And she, okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. And here's the reason why I'm gonna do it because I don't care about your rules. Is because in 1776 you sent your fucking redcoats over and they tried to come in through Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. And guess what? They guess got what? beaten back by the fucking boys. Yeah. So unfortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately. My great country, the great laws of the United States, had to bail your dumb country out for years and years and years. So now I make the rules at the Soho Theater. Yeah. So the truth is, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do an hour and a half worth of comedy, American style, because let's be honest, the United... The England belongs to the United States. That's what it is. We just give you guys freedom and we make you make believe. But the truth of the situation is anytime you guys get a boo-boo, wear the band-aid. Yeah. We Not 14. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Zach. Good one. Yeah, you can also go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys and listen to our uh, ancillary podcast called Ladder 14. Ladder 14. Yeah, with Sean Terry and uh, Patty Mulroney. Yes, yeah, Sean Terry, Patty Mulroney, and yeah. uh, Colleen Sr. and Jr. Yeah, just so, so go check that out. Because I want you to go over to the fucking Soho theater and i want you to say i want to come out to the national anthem yeah like you've been doing yeah that's gonna be your new thing you come out to the national anthem yeah i want you to have a fucking american flag cape wrapped around you like hulk hogan yeah and make that whole audience of brits stand at attention and go pewing for the fucking usa anthem <laughs> yeah pewing. yeah yeah and stand on at attention pewing. yeah and i'm gonna do it the monday night show it's a it's a theater that holds 300 i got about 38 seats sold so i'm gonna make all you fuckers <laughs> get up and do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause well, the so it's just what it is. Yeah, the matri 
but it, in England, it's taking a little while for the matriarchy to catch on. Yeah, because it's a bit, it's not proper. Yeah. Yeah, but but because I'm going to go over there and make no mistake, I'm going to spread the matriarchy like HPV. Yeah. Garda cells not, can't stop us. Yeah, I feel like uh, <laughs> your, your, your accent's going to be, uh, your accent's going to be interesting for them. Yeah, well, the thing is what I do, like yeah. you ever seen The Departed when Mark Wahlberg um, kind of sniffs out Leonardo DiCaprio goes, oh, you probably changed accents being from a South, you know, you're from this, you got the South. Yeah, he called, he called him Andrew Schultz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he sn- and th- Code that's switcher. What, that's what I do a little bit. Yeah. That's what I do a little bit. I switch, I turn it on and off. Yeah. So yeah, because the truth is, I don't know who the real me is because I, as I was saying before the podcast started, when my anxiety gets really high, when I have the crippling anxiety, which has happened a lot in my you life. You grinder a few times. I, well, yeah. I don't know because I black out. Yeah. Like I, I genuinely, I have I have no memories of big things in my life. Shout out Father Bill. I have, I have no. Because have you ever killed any prostitutes? No, no. I don't think I've ever killed a two. Jack the Ripper has. Yeah. But I don't think I've ever killed a two. So what I've do you actually, think? I've actually never been with a prostitute ever in my life. So what do you think? What do you think happens during those blackouts? I don't know. I'm black. You think you go on sugar runs? Do you think? What do you do? I don't know. But like, ever hook up with a guy? There's things in my life I don't know because there's things in my life that I I I'm shown pictures of and they're like, don't you remember this? And I'm like, I do not. How many laps have you been in? Uh, How many guys' laps have you actually just went over and just sat in their lap? Uh, like just you mean like big a random strong man, stranger? Just a big strong man that you feel like could protect you. Well, I don't. I, I did a, a promo video for my shows at Soho Theater in London with the great Sal Volcano, and I was like, "Hey, can we do a video?" And he was like, "Yeah, maybe I'll just make a video." And I was like, "How about I just lay on your bed? How about I just lay on your stomach in your bed?" And he was like, "Uh, okay." And then all my all my ideas were just sitting in his lap or laying on his lap. Yeah. So you, you do. There's something about getting in a guy's lap that makes you feel really comfy, wumpy. Yeah, I just do feel comfy, fucking wumpy. Yeah, because you're just you're just a wild kid. Yeah, you just they a call me Chrissy wump- Bottoms. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the JV Williams. I'm reading this. Sal wiping his brow. Wheel was spun. Make no mistake. Chrissy Bottoms just let Sal go two rounds on the throat. Speed bag. <laughs> <laughs> JP Williams. JP underscore Williams. Ten out of ten. Ten comment. out of fucking ten. Cause we got a lot of funny comments. This was my favorite comment from the. And walk- then we got to get to the Ripper. Yeah. Uh, from we the got this FF talk. coming in at one. This guy goes uh, Jeff Williams non toot. Non toot Jeff Williams, no fumes. His name is Jeff Williams, non toot, no fumes. Yeah. He said Chrissy came running up with new Mountain Dew sneakers and came right out with the steel pipe USA USA. Yeah, the the walk oh, and Patri- talk. Oh, yeah, the Patreon walk and talk just starts like one hundred miles an hour. Yeah. And you your steel pipe from the minute we start. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. I, I think because I listened to the first 10 minutes, it's just you, and you're talking about really interesting, great stuff, and then you just hear in the distance someone yelling, Trump 2020, <laughs> and then it, and then the podcast <laughs> takes a different turn. La Fuerte. <laughs> La Fuerte. Yeah, yeah. I sub point. Yeah, instead of Wei Shan Xian, now we're going to start also, we could do Wei Shan Xian and Lada 14 mean the same thing. Yeah. And that's, that's what we wanted to tell yeah, you, Zach. Yeah, you can always go Lada 14. We're doing a character piece. Yeah. yeah if I say something's fucking, if I say something so nice, Nuts, like, you know, things that I say, then just say Lada 14. Venetia, can you do another poll on the Patreon or somewhere and just ask the fans if we pay Zach Isis too much? Don't even tell him what it is. I just want to see what the fans say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a part in the walk and talk where Chris is like, Zach, if you're doing your job, you'll edit this out. <laughs> oh, yeah. He yeah. listened to it. Yeah. yeah. He, he always, he does, Zach does good. But, you know, the key, he's a 23-year-old kid. He's I mean. a 23-year-old kid with tattoos on his fingers. Jennifer Bagwell. Jennifer Bagwell. Is back? Welcome back. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome back, you fucking non two. She's fucking screwed in, You're though. fucking, you went from two to non two. Yeah, she was like, she disappeared, and then she said, hey. You guys better fucking get your act back together. And if you do, I'll join back. And she joined back. And she says, Welcome home, babe. She says on that video, If I give a carton of Newports to Ann Eileen, will she show me the basement where Uncle Victor had to correct some pendejos on her Instagram? Because <laughs> yes. make no mistake, Ann Eileen's on Instagram. Yeah, she's on Instagram, Ann Eileen Molina. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, but nobody, nobody. That's not the real one. So, so don't yeah. don't try to search Aunt Eileen. But make no mistake, it's just a matter of time before Aunt Eileen finds this podcast. Because our logo for the history hyenas on Instagram is so funny. It's just fucking me, you, and the baby. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious. It's a ten. Yeah, yeah. Because we did a poll. Benatia set put up a poll. No, it was Mike. Huh? Mike. Oh, that was Mike that put the poll. Oh, Mike, thank you, Mike. Oh, Jack the Ripper. By the way, we're, we're, oh. Oh, we're now okay. an hour and fifteen minutes, and he hasn't even looked at the muffin. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> where, where is the muffin? It's behind him. 
Yeah, cut. You know Ken what? He hasn't even looked at the muffin. Yeah. And it's a toasted blueberry muffin butter. Cosmic. Maybe it's turn them off because there's fruit in it. Wait a second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but wait a second. I think maybe you figured something out. What? Okay. Now, muffins, muffins with butter, that, that's basically, that's a toot. For my emoji face. Yeah. So if we just get, like, you know how Venetia's here, that's, uh, you're a bear and that's a salmon and you can't get the salmon, but it's got you at attention. Yeah. You see you see the thing and, you know, you, you're the dancing bear. You know, I, we, we get you to do tricks. We, Chrissy, just stay in your seat and be funny. We got the salmon yeah, right you got here. Venetia yeah, Venetia Yeah. And you just follow the salmon yeah. with your eyes. Yeah. Maybe we just got to bring in a muffin every day for my emoji. Yeah, that's what we got to do. And then we got to bring in the head of a Jew for ISIS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I get a Wei Zhang Jin, please? Or a ladder 14. Wei Zhang Jin. Wei Zhang Jin. Wei Zhang Jin. Yeah, I'm just doing a character piece that Sean Terry is just a character piece. <laughs> now, listen, we're, we're definitely at war with that religion. Yeah. Ladder 14. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear the ladder 14? No, I don't have the headphones yeah, on. Yeah, Chrissy, you have no idea what's going on yeah, at all times. Can you play it out, out loud? The ladder 14 is hilarious. I don't have headphones on. Yeah, he... he, he I don't uh, even know where they are. He sampled one of us going ladder 14. It's hilarious. I love how you don't want to mess up your hair, but your hair doesn't move ever, cuz. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't put on the headphones not to mess up my hair. I just you, just, you can't get them around that I big fucking feel, head? I just feel... I don't know. I just never like the headphones. Yeah. Even, I don't care about my hair. I'm not yeah. going anywhere. Let me hear line of 14. Yeah, just kidding. Line of 14. <laughs> yes. <laughs> one more time. One more time. Line of 14. <laughs> <laughs> By myself, I'll take you physically. Yeah. yeah. Isis, you're back on point, cuz. Do we still have the old ones or are they gone? We we need to re record them so I can put them into this. That's uh, all right. We're a wild podcast. It's just, yeah. What you, we, I want to ask the fans do we pay Zach Isis too much? Too much. Even uh, our sound. Even our soundboard is only here for a good time, not a long yeah, time. Yeah, the soundboard is here for a good time. <laughs> now we gotta do time. Yeah. the podcast itself is a uh, good time, long not here for a good time, not a long time. Because um, make no mistake, I gave my mother access to the podcast. Now Anna Lena has an Instagram. Uh, m- uh, my cousin Bloomy has an Instagram, um, and I mean. uh, <laughs> and uh, it's just a matter of time. Who's uh, your cousin-in-law listens to this podcast? Yeah, whose her husband does. <laughs> <laughs> Last one day. Yeah. And, um, and, Cause uh, a lot of 14's a killer. A lot of 14. And, uh, and make, and it's just the podcast, unfortunately, it's just probably not going to be able to go on for too much longer because I'm going to start getting sued by family members. Yeah. It's, it's just, what, just what it's, it's going to be cease and desist. And I don't know what we're doing, uh, if we're going to just have him on this episode or we're going to do it next episode, but Joey Camasta is, uh, you're about to hear the gayest man on the planet Earth. Yeah. Well, we're going to get that episode out uh, right before Pride Month ends, which is, you know, June is Pride Month. He um, just posted on your Instagram, piss in his asshole. I said, I said, I posted a picture of me in a suit last week, and the, the, his comment was just very short and concise. It said, piss in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what his comment was. So, I mean, you know, and then, and then he, he was just told look- the, what did he say to you once? He said, just fuck me he in the ass. He said, just fuck my asshole already. Yeah, and yeah. then he said that he want, He said he wants to pump and dump cum, cum in our ass. When, yeah. And we need to be on all fours blindfolded. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. He's a gay guy. But let's get to Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper's a kid who really liked to cut out uh, the uteruses of women on occasion. Now, we don't know still who Jack the Ripper was. There was a lot of um, speculation um, in recent months that they they think, they think DNA um, analysis found out uh, who it was. It was, this, uh, it was a Polish kid, um, Aaron Kosminski. They think who was a barber who was actually born on September 11th. He was born on September 11th, 1865. It's a direct attack on our country. Shout out Smithtown Water. Shout out Smithtown Water, Ladder 14. Ladder 14. Yeah. <laughs> I, always, yeah. I always thought Jack the Ripper was Johnny Depp from the movie. Yeah. I, I, Didn't I know. he play him? Who played Jack the Ripper? Um, who, no, the, no, Jack the Ripper, that was Aaron, Sweeney Todd, the barber, you uh, f- I will f- 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 no, yeah. Johnny Depp was in From Hell, a movie about Jack the Ripper. Uh, well, that, because that letter from yeah, hell, yeah. right, is, uh, is the only, there was a letter that, uh, the London police got, um, and it said it was entitled From Hell, and they believe it's the only letter that actually was from Jack the Ripper, because a lot of these letters were just forgeries. Yeah, they it was just, fakes. The East, you know, London, the people of London started to have fun with this thing, at the actual time it was going on, which made investigating it a, fu- investigating it a nightmare. Yeah. It was much like the Charlie Ross uh, situation yeah. where it became a big media <laughs> frenzy and a lot of fake people started pretending to be Jack the Ripper and sending fake evidence or fake leads or, or fake uh, letters. Now, Venetia, killing prostitutes and cutting out their organs, is it kids or brutes? 
Totally Bruce. Totally Bruce. Oh, Bruce. Word, word, dope. Um, <laughs> yeah. D- dude. Now, I'm going to London next week, and I'm going to go on the Jack the Ripper walking tour through the East End, and uh, I'm going to go with Debo. Y- and Debo. You bringing Debo? Yeah, I said to Debo, I said, I said, um, I said, hey, man, Saturday, I got tickets for us to go to, um, to the, to the, at 7 o'clock, at 7 p.m., I swear, I said at 7 p.m., we got tickets to go on a, on a walking tour to see um, uh, Jack the Ripper, to do the Jack the Ripper tour. And he goes, is that tour going to be inside? And I said, no, it's a walking tour through the different destinations on East London. And he goes, um, 7 o'clock there, I swear to God, he goes, 7 p.m., he goes, so what time does that mean it's in New York? And I said, uh, I said it's going to be about midnight in New York. And he said, um, he said, all right, good, that means the Mets will be done by then. It'll be done by then, yeah. Because yeah. he, he, I swear to God, he asked me at, at our hotel, he was like, where? Yeah. No, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Um, Seven p.m. It'll be two London. p.m. Yeah. 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 yeah but, oh, well, sorry, I told him the wrong information. So he's gonna be. <laughs> no, but I could just tell him it's midnight. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. I could just tell him it's midnight. It doesn't matter. And um, and uh, but he's asked me. He was like, in London, do you think that they have SNY, which is the channel that plays the Mets? And I said, <laughs> and I said that they don't. And then I swear to God. And then he asked, he said that he called Verizon yeah. and asked if there was a package that he could get. I really am just regretting inviting him, but yeah. it's just what it is. Yeah, it's just what you do. It's just what I do, but yeah. I'm not regretting inviting him because no, he's, he's a great kid. He's a all great your, kid. All your friends are great kids. They're Mets fans, hardcore. If he has a kid one day, he's going to name that kid Shay. 100% for or, the stadium, yeah. Or Keith after Keith Hernandez. Or after Keith Hernandez, yeah. Or, you know, maybe Ga- Gary Carter. Gary Carter. A full first name will be Gary Carter. Gary Carter. Gary Carter. Gary What's Carter his last name? D. Bernardo. Yeah, Gary Carter. D. Bernardo. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, just Daryl Strawberry. Uh, yeah, no, you can't yeah. do it. Yeah. So, so, um, so we're going to go on this walking tour. So we'll have more information. I'm going to learn stuff. And we're going to put that... Obviously, on another podcast, maybe the Patreon. Make some videos while you're there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Duh. Yeah, I will, of course. And I'm going to Newcastle, which Bennett, I'm going to go on tours of the Roman forts. Venetia has her screwed in. That's the first thing she was like, can we get, listen. She's like, listen, we need to get a fucking history hyena shirt on your back. Yeah. For you when you go to London. She wanted to ship it directly to London, but it's not going to work out. Well, we should have had the t-shirts a long time ago. This is our fault, but now we got... Queen matriarchy here has got us back we'll in shape. It. We'll have like a fun photo shoot. You guys will look great. Yeah. Thanks. Totally. Um, She's totally right. So, no, so. Real talk. Like, yeah, real talk. It. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah, for sure. So Jack the Ripper, JTR, he killed, the police think he killed 11 women, but there's really five that they focus on called the Canical Five. Yeah. Because he really fucking went to town and cut out their organs and really, it got, it got pretty brute. Yeah, that's uh, why they thought he was like, um. You know, a surgical, he was surgically trained. Yeah. But it turns out, the I guess the latest is that he was this barber kid. And they thought the, the people of London are funny because they thought there was a rumor starting that it was actually the Duke of, I think it was York? No, not York. A local duke, like a member of the English royal family, yeah. they were saying that it had to be him because really they just hate the royal family so much. I mean, if I was a British citizen yeah. and I would see my, and I got a breakdown of my taxes and saw how much tax dollars go to pay for fucking Buckingham Palace, I'd be furious. It's I'd be like, we can get rid of this fucking, this royal family right now. We can get rid of them. It's really weird because it's still like that. In Norway, they got a royal family. Sweden, yeah. they got a royal family. De- Denmark, they got a royal family. I think even does Greece still have a king? That no, no, they got they rid don't. of that shit. So yeah. no royal she left in Greece. Yeah. But those countries that still have the royal families, uh, ceremonial royal families, they like them. If you talk to the people, oh, the people want it. Okay, they kind of like it for some reason. Right. They're like, ah, you know, they're like ambassadors for the country. They go across. Geez, All right, they so if they're not mad at it, then but it's still whatever. no. They're just stupid. And the yeah. only reason, the only look, let's just let me. Can I just be CC for yeah, a second? Yeah, you be CC, and I'm going to be CC. The only reason they're okay with it, and the only reason that they can always bash America, let's be let's be crystal clear. Yeah, is because we're defending them. Yeah, if you had to pay. For the level of defense that we provide, yeah, then you wouldn't really be not upset about part of your tax dollars going to a fucking dumb inbred royal family. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to afford it because you'd have to send the planes that we provide for you. Because make no mistake, don't act like you use different oil. You use the same oil we do. Yeah, we just show up and we do the dirty work, and you send a food truck, and yeah. then you're mad at us. And it's and it's as simple as that. It's like I'm kind of sick of Europeans fucking. Yeah, up. it's also evil. like it's also like yeah. It, at any point, 
is your fucking dumb royal family ever on our news channels? Maybe once in a while when one of the kings or queens or fucking princes or princes gets married or shits out a baby. But other than that, why don't you just stop worrying about our politics? Because we don't give a fuck about yours. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Stop criticizing us or you can go fight for yourself. A lot of 14. A lot of 14. <laughs> 14. I just like to put on CNN and then watch Anderson Cooper talk about some dumb story. And I like to sneak up to my left so I can get my hands down my pants. Yeah, but I just love that when they just critique us like as if they don't use the same oil. They don't, you know, they don't they don't yeah. benefit from what we're doing. Look, it's all dirtbag shit. That's what empires need. They need oil. You need fuel. And yeah. we go get it. We go get it by gun. Yeah, by gun, we get it. All right, so back to Jack the Ripper. It's not right, but it is what it is. So back to Jack the Ripper. Yeah, 1888 is the year that he was killing these prostitutes. Yeah, he was, toots. Ki he was killing toots. toots. There is some, some people think that Jack the Ripper is not this Polak kid who was, was in, an Eastern Hemi who was in and out of insane asylums no they don't they, they know it wasn't him because he he because it because then if it was an Eastern Hemi what you would find is it, every time he killed somebody you'd find a couple of cans around because they're picking cans <laughs> Wei Zhang <-Zhan. laughs> I'm just kidding um, uh, I was just kidding um, but yeah you might find it just a can of seltzer um, <laughs> Wei Song <laughs> and, a and a recycle bag it's what it is not for me at a, <laughs> at a Stick, a stick, you know they, Wei Song Shane. They attach yeah. the two bags to the stick. They yeah. got bags on, yeah. And um <laughs> it's what it is. Ladder fourteen. Ladder fourteen. And uh yeah. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so they think it was his barber commitment. They think it was his barber, but they he's, also he's a Polak kid. But there's also some. Okay, Mike's trying to bend down and get his phone. Let's listen in on the breathing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it's kid. But an hour and a half, no muffin. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they think some people think that he actually left. London, this guy, and made it made his way to New York City and killed a couple of prostitutes in New York City. See the danger in being a toot and yeah. not going to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys? <laughs> not one non toot was murdered yeah. by Jack the Ripper. Only the toots <laughs> got murdered. So there, there you go. That's a little lesson. It's actually a great point. Yeah. It's actually a great point. But Jack the Ripper, man, look, they say it's Kaminsky because they found some DNA right. on this, uh, what is it, a shawl or a. Shawl. They found the, the DNA. One of the murdered women, they, they have the shawl. Yes. And, and, um, the Brendan shawl. The Brendan shawl. And they found his DNA on it. So, it's like... You think... It's like, what's his DNA doing on there? But then there's uh, people who critique the study, the peer-reviewed <coughs> study that says that um, it was, it was Kamins Kaminsky, Kosminsky who did it. Say, ah, you know, the it's been a long time. The shawl's been touched by a lot of people. It's been contaminated. But it's kind of like, why would his DNA, why would it be on the shawl? You right. know what I mean? Right. Well, I mean, but they're saying... I like where... Can you put that back up? But they're saying real quickly that it was mitochondrial DNA and that it's so ma it's been contaminated so much and touched by so many different people that like they're not direct matches they're just like very close so it could really be anything that's what they're saying if it was actual DNA like today you can't miss with that the DNA can get a hundred percent match yeah. but that's not what this was I I don't even know how they have suspects really it's like back then we always talked about that like. How could you catch someone if you didn't see them do the murder? You couldn't. Well, you could. You could. Yeah, you would pin it on people, but you couldn't actually be. Pro you know, yeah. couldn't prove it. And the thing, uh, the thing working against this Kosminski theory is that the kid was a barber. He was supposedly uh, psychotic and suffered from bouts of psychosis, yes. where he would have to spend time in an insane asylum. He tried to kill his sister. Yeah. Oh, he did. Uh, yeah. He, he his own sister? His, yeah, he put a knife on his sister. Well, maybe he had a situation with the sister. Could have had a situation with the sister. Maybe yeah. she tried to blow him. I've been there. <laughs> Wei Song Xi ain't. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> yeah. Um, he also uh, threatened one of the nurses at... Um, yeah, but maybe she was being a bitch. Yeah, at the insane asylum with a knife. Yeah. So, But that's really the only, you know, hardcore kind of like... Personality profiling, you right? Can, I mean, like he, the, whoever did this, knew how to cut out a uterus, knew how to cut out organs. Yeah, knew how to cut it up. Cut yeah, it. I mean, there's no question. You you can't say the person who was Jack the Ripper 
didn't have any surgical training. Like, if you started killing someone, would you know how to cut out an organ cleanly? Um, You'd no. make a mess of the situation. I make a mess of the situation. I do. I do have some experience cutting up cadaver bodies. I told you about this. Oh yeah, you. Yeah, when yeah. I was a physical therapy student, I yeah. cut open some stuff. I skinned the face, yeah. and then I told you I was. I got to the point where I was able to eat over a dead body, and I was eating fettuccine alfredo, and a noodle fell into the body. And on the exam the next day, the noodle was still there, dried up inside the body, and right next to it, he had uh, Dr. Futterman, what's his name? He had a piece of the um, small intestine pinned that we had to guess what it was. And then my friend Rich Brooks was like, what about that fettuccine noodle? Yeah you're, yeah, you're a strange kid that's scared of ghosts, but you're okay around a dead body. Yeah, I had to skin a face. Yeah. And then we had, to, and then Dr. Futterman in front of us, he normally is not supposed to do this, but there was a body that we had to, we were working on facial muscles, and he brought out a chainsaw and decapitated this dead body right in front of us. Blood? Was there blood in there? No, no it's all dried yeah, yeah. and frozen, but I mean, we just saw him cut a head off. And you just start looking at it like it's scientific and medical at that point. Not, kinda... not by then. By yeah. then I was still like, uh, you know, grossed out by it. But by three weeks in, it's like, yeah, it just becomes, I mean, one of these, one of, like some of these bodies had like pubes and stuff like you would just be able did, to did cut it. Did he have a reason for that? Huh? Did he have a reason for the chainsaw to do that? Or well, because you can't to cut it reason just to, to be kick off. off. Well, no, you, have to, you have to make a clean cut to cut through yeah. bone and muscle and fat. It's yeah. hard. And the only thing that would still be creepy like even today is like some of the bodies had like their nails painted or like you know they died signs of life it was just and that yeah. makes it really fucking weird yeah or tattoos that you saw yeah but if it was just like a it's an old white bag of shit body it's like you know yeah. you just like whatever you just so. cut its head off cut its dick off it just doesn't matter we skin the face we skin the face because all there's all facial muscles there's a whole part of physical therapy about you know rehabbing people's faces after strokes and stuff like that That's so we had to learn so I and I had to I like got nominated to skin the face so I just did it and then I blacked out why did you get nominated? I because th- I think like I don't know. Like I look like a man, but you know, obviously I'm not. So I think they were just like Chris can do it. He can fill. He can build stuff. He can do this. He could do that. But really, I was just sh- fucking shaking in my boots doing Maybe it. Maybe he just wanted a little change from all the Filipino. He's just always a Filipino kid doing it. Yeah, like, I can you know, change the pace. How well, that's what they. <laughs> What do you? What are the percentage in New York City of physical therapists who are Filipino? I would truly, truly, if I'm being dead yeah. serious with you, I yeah. would say eight, over eighty percent are Filipino. We're Filipino, Chris. It's a snapping turtle. Way Jong Jan. I'm from yeah. the Philippines. Yeah, money back yeah. Ali Wong said we can't do these voices anymore. Oh uh, yeah, but it's okay to she do German. Wa- she watched my special and said you can't do ancient voices. By the way, I watched Ali Wong's movie. Um, it's great. Um, what's it later? Maybe no something. Always, always be my maybe. Always be my maybe. It's seriously like a great movie. It's like a. It's uh. It's like a beautiful. It's like a beautiful like um, romantic. Uh, Comedy. Like comedy, just you know, full yeah. of Eastern Hemi, so you got to get over that. But yeah, Ali's uh, an old good <laughs> friend. Lot of 14. <laughs> yeah, lot of 14. Lot of 14. And can we get a lot of 14 and a Wei Song Chin? Lot of 14. Wei Song Chin. <laughs> yes, thank you. I was Doubled just kidding. Up. Yeah. Allie, Allie's a good old friend. Sugar cracked open. And uh, she, we love Ali Wong. Yeah. Anyway, so this was the letter uh, from Jack the Ripper. Yeah, can Venetia read it? Because she has a nice, soothing woman's voice. Okay, hold on. Let's see if from let's, hell. let's have Venetia read it. Okay, so Miss, Mr. Luster, dope, fucking yeah, um, said you have the kitten, you fucking, yeah, dope, fucking yeah. Okay, Benetia, go. Go. Mr. Luster, so wait, but this letter is, uh, was a big deal because it was delivered with a kidney. Oh, nice. And do you remember how... Cutes are brutes, brutes. And so that's why... Why is, why is there just in like an air conditioner? Like, what's the sound that's just going through my headphones? That's the AC. It's the AC. Because okay. we didn't have the AC on. You, you, you look you look like it's a mating. Like, when there's no AC, your German DNA code, and it's hot in here, you just look like a, 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 a pilot... And the plane is in a tailspin. It's going down. I just you just want to scream Mayday, Mayday. You're, Mayday. you're just red. You're fucking yeah. You're yeah. puffed up. Like you need it to be cool. You're a German kid. Okay. Yeah. All right, Benny. You want us to turn it off? Go. No, leave it on. <laughs> Mayday, Chrissy. So um, they thought that this guy was actually illiterate because of the way that he spelled, but maybe they also thought it was like a front that he was yeah. misspelling just to kind of throw them off. Yeah, exactly. So he says, Mr. Lusk, uh, I send you half the kidney I took from one woman preserved it for you together peace i word fry and Dope. eat it it was very nice nice n-i-s-e uh i may send you the bloody oh, knife oh, that took it out if you only 
wait a little longer. Signed, catch me when you can, Mr. Lusk. Yeah, oh, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. Who's oh, the killer? That's who it is. Yeah, so, dear Mr. Lusk, um, sir, I send you half the kidney and took one from one woman, preserved it for you, to the piece of fried and ate. It was very nice. I may send you the bloody knife that took it out if you were only waited a while, while longer. Signed, catch me if you can. You can, Mr. Lusk. Do you see the way that it started, though? Like yeah. that's From hell. From hell. From hell. They yeah. didn't write letters like that. No. Back then. That's creepy. So this is the one they think was actually from him, right? Because it came with the kidney. What so it had to be from write him. letters back then from, like, what do you mean? Like, they were saying how it was just uh, really, no one really started a letter like that, like... Introducing such a dark introduction is usually how can I put this? It's usually like uh, it was usually hello like to whom it may concern or something like, like that. Yeah, dearest little, Mr. Mr. Witherspoon. Like, hey, how are you? Like, here's a kid. Yeah, this is just started what from hell. Like, from like that. What? Right, 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 right. <laughs> from so, hell. Well, yeah, I mean, so whoever this was is completely demented. So this actually, this came. They they were able to confirm that it was a kidney from one of the toots. Good Actually, question. or it probably was. It probably, if it came with a kidney, so th- yeah, it's probably. Has it been concluded, Mike, that um, it, this was actually from him, from who well, the killer was? The original letter and the kidney uh, have both been lost. So yeah, a lot of other things from the uh, Ripper Police files were lost, probably stolen by some collector or something weird like that. Yeah, because that you know what? That's the real story to me about Jack the Ripper is that. It really exposed how people really have a hunger for true crime stories. Right. You look at how popular, even now, true crime podcasts are, how popular movies are about serial killers, how fascinated the media has become with killers like, I mean, Ted Bundy, um, the list goes on. I mean, we're all fascinated. For some reason, we're all fascinated. And it makes you wonder, does life imitate art you know what i mean does do these killers obviously that you got to be psychopathic or sociopathic to do that type of thing but does the interest that we have in it fuel their bloodlust to get attention you know what i'm saying right mm-hmm. like because serial killing is sort of like a it's probably always been around in some form but it's kind of like a modern phenomenon in the sense that there's this kind of like cat and mouse game with the police that they always play. Even the Son of Sam was, you remember the Son of Sam uh, in New York, 78, was sending letters to the police and the Zodiac Killer. It's this media game. Like It's almost as if the killer is aware that they have now become infamous and a star, and they're almost killing as part of the show. It almost feels like it's becoming part of the show. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. People copy it after. And then copycats, it's like, so that's my question. It almost seems like Media, the the development of media and serial killing kind of, you know, simultaneously grew. Right. It's like as media became popular and people and gazettes were everywhere and people could read media and stories, um, this sort of be, is like a dark side of that phenomenon. Yeah. You know, it's like you get your stories and make, you know, because media is what made people famous. Actors didn't used to be famous. Right in ancient Rome, and it, we speak. Yeah, it was like little. It was you like, were like a fucking drunk. You, were, you Shakespeare was even in the Elizabethan era. The writer was famous. The actors weren't famous. Yeah, but then when media became a thing, when like print happened, and then you know, and, and you could really reach a lot of people and sell papers, then people started to become famous. Like fame started to become a thing. It used to just be like people knew the royal family, maybe a couple people, but now it's like. You're starting to make people famous with like this public relations, this PR publicist, you know, just like pushing Everybody's certain people, famous, yeah. telling stories about people. No, I mean, at that time, like the media created your fame, and they also created your infamy. You know what I'm saying? So if you were a killer, they're writing about you. Right. They're making you infamous. Right. Jack, the, we only know about Jack the Ripper because of the media. Well, that's and why it happened in the in the London, which was the center of the universe at the time. That was like the New York of its time. 1888. There was immigrants from all over the world flocking to London to try to find work. It was the actual center of the universe where the media was. If this was happening in fucking Kosovo, you know, we would never. It probably was. We would never hear about it. Well, the thing is, that's why nowadays, like even on CNN or any media outlet, anybody that like shoots up a thing, they don't. They try not to 
put their face out there or their name. They try not to give them fame anymore yeah. because they're realizing this that it's, it makes people want to do it. it it has to have something to do with it yeah no I mean, i'm sure it does yeah why would you want to shoot up a school if you're not going to get credit for it you know yeah it's like it's a it's a dark it's a dark side of humanity we got a lot of new patreon members a lot of people went to patreon.com slash bay ridge boys and joined the matriarchy because we we we're coming are you gonna fart no. Okay, I thought you were leaning up. No, we can't do that anymore. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because I've noticed that. You haven't farted since we've had Benetti in here. You've just could, been holding them? Um, no. You just, you just I eat could, better. I could push one out. <laughs> um, okay, so we got, a few, we got a few names, and some of these are, are good names. Um, so uh, let me just read them out quickly. That's what happens when you join. When you go to patreon.com slash Boys. you will get your name read out at the end of the podcast the first week uh, that you join. So we just like to give you guys a little shout out. And always try to make your guys' names funny and like in brand with the show. And then it, you, we can get um, the PPW, Pseudo Penis of the Week. Yeah. Okay, so first one, Miguel, I'm 50% sure my grandfather was a Nazi that escaped to Mexico. <laughs> It's a PPW nominee. Started right off the bat. Oh, right wow. <laughs> Look at this one. That it's was the, a Ricky Henderson leadoff. This is if Vanity and Giannis had a kid. It'd be this name. Yeah. Pantelis Milotias. Ah, uh, my luck at the Ganes. Yeah. The yeah. The Next up, Stephanie Phelan. P-H-E-L-A-N. Or Phelan. Next up, Ladder 14 Jobs. <laughs> Love 14. <laughs> Love 14. PPW. And Phelan is an Irish girl. Phelan. Phelan. Then next up, Mike, make no mistake, Speriachi. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sauce monkey fucking, that's a steroided sauce monkey. Yeah. Then we got Alisa, Alisa Pompeo, who dropped off and then came back. Welcome back, Miss Pompeo. Welcome back, Miss Pompeo. Then we got Abel. I got a situation with the Mother Diaz. Yeah, that's another PPW. Wow, this is going to be a tough one. A good one. We may have to vote on this one, all of us. Then we got Liam Liam Robbins, nice Irish kid. Yeah. Anna Abscolu, ab, 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 A-B-A-T-Z-O-G-L-O-U. Abscolu. She, she sounds, her, she's got a situation with the name. With the name. Situation yeah. with the name. Yeah. Oh, then we got Pericles from Bay Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Greek. He's a Greek. His name's Pericles. Um, He's in his mother's house. Reese Bailey, who just keeps joining and then deactivating and joining again. You're screwed in because you're probably not getting charged. Yeah. You're fucking screwed in. Listen, fuck. Reese Bailey, we're fucking on to you. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drop we're gonna cancel your membership just like Lakeside Maple. Yeah. <laughs> Reese Bailey. Yeah. Anthony Franco. Anthony Franco. Joey underscore Brooklyn. God, we got a lot of Italians. Italian. Then we got Casey Crystal Clear Spudis. <laughs> Greek, no. right? Greek. Spudis? No, what is it? Spudis, S-P-U-D-I-S. Is it Spudis? Spudis? Could be Greek. Know. Could be. Joseph Kotz. Joseph Kotz. That's uh, Officer Kotz. Officer Kotz. Yeah. Alex Cantor. Alex Cantor. Alex Cook. Alex Cook. Hi, Cook. Michaela McBride. How you doing? Timothy Green. What's up, Timothy? Daniel Pieta. Uh, que pasa, mi gente? Rene, Rene Melendez. Que pasa, mi gente? Situation with the mother. Yeah. Jackson Mowry. Jackson Mowry, Irish kid. Crystal Figueroa. Que pasa, mi gente? Then we got one names back to back. Dalton and Katie. Black kids. Jamie Torek. I don't know what that is. Richard Zelensky. Oh, wow. It we, could be the Jack the Ripper. Then this one this one brings up memories for me. This guy's name is Father Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Father Bill joined the Patreon. Oh, PPW. Shit. We're gonna have to let's we're gonna have to do a vote on who the PPW is. Because Father Bill's oh shit. <laughs> Alex Heatherly. You're blacked out now, right? Yeah, I'm blacked out. Alex Heatherly, how you doing, Heathen? Blake Hartz. Blake Hartz Wasp Alert. Johnny 116th Eastern Hemi. <laughs> Okay, we got an Asiatic. Yeah, then we got a Scouty Coon. Okay. Clay Griffin. Clay Griffin. He sounds like a baseball player. Dan South Jersey Steel Pipe Pickens. Oh, it's another PPW nominee. Chrissy, just a plain white dude with a Deese Peace Brewer. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Because this is the apps by far the funniest list of Patreon members. The next up, we got Sasson Fumes. <laughs> <laughs> that might be my favorite. And then we got uh, Millie slid into Chrissy D's DMs when she moved to Vinny Vegetables Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then these last ones, they're, they're still great, but just no, no funny names. So I'm just going to read them quick. But yeah. we love you. Thank you for your support. And you can always go back and change your name, and then we'll read it. Jose Fernandez. Que pasa? Tony Hutzel. Huh. Keon. What's up, brother? 
Nameen. Nameen. Mike Ryu. Hayuken. Meredith Wallace. Hey, Meredith. EQ. Nitsan Chudrov, right from Chernobyl. All right. Rob Castilla. Que pasa, mi gente? Patrick Bernie. Latter 14. Latter 14, Patrick. Officer Patrick Sarge. Yeah. Drake Lindbergh. Screwed in. Screwed in, kid. Jay Green. Jay Green. And then Grant, Grant Khan. Great con, Jim. He's a Jim. He's a German kid. So, thank you guys so much for uh, for joining the Patreon. Going to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. We appreciate your service. Yeah, who is your PPW there? I'm going uh, with Sasson. Sasson, uh, Sasson for me. Fumes. Yeah. I'll say, um, <laughs> I got to say Father Bill. Father Bill, yeah. yeah. All right, but the, the, all, the, all you guys. They're all great. Yeah. Whoever did it. You're, you're, that was a dream team of PPWs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if we sent that fucking team over to Europe, we dominate. We dominate. Yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, so uh, yeah, check out all our, our dates. Go first of all, follow us on Instagram at History Hyenas, Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, at Jan's Pompous on Instagram, at Christy Comedy on Instagram. Also YouTube. Go follow us on YouTube. Go follow us on YouTube. YouTube.com slash History Hyenas. Yeah. Yeah, because we're fucking monetized. So Mikey, what's your go. Instagram? At Mike V. Suarez. At Mike V. Suarez. And Zach, what's yours? Yo, man, I don't really oh, give my... Yo, Zach, I don't really give my shit out, man. Just listen to my bars. You <laughs> know what I mean? Hit me up on SoundCloud. Vax, mine is at Z the Dropout. I have another song coming out tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Um, Venetia, what's your Instagram? Mine's my name, Venetia Ajaris. I already got, like, a few followers. Venetia oh, Ajaris. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and don't fucking say anything disrespectful to Venetia. Yeah, because it's my wife. Yeah, it's our, <laughs> it's, she's our comedy wife. Yeah, go and go to um, On the Volley... Apparel. On the vo- on the volley apparel dot com and get our t shirts. We got a whole bunch of merchandise up there. Yeah, we have a Coco shirt, which I'm about to cop. I yep. love that shirt. We got the No Fume shirt. We got the Witch Hazel shirt. What else do we got coming up there? Um, and then on the Teespring, we have the It's What It Is and regular history hyenas. Yeah, also, can, a lot of stickers and cups. Yeah. You can also go to Teespring dot com slash history hyenas. Uh, slash store slash history hyenas. Where yeah. are these on YouTube? Is there a link for this? On our YouTube page, it goes directly to the. Uh, yeah. The, uh, Teespring. Teespring. Account. Sorry. Teespring.com slash stores slash history hyenas. Go get our t shirts and our mugs. We'll have yeah. some more coming up. We have Smithtown Water Department. Smithtown Water. Shout out Smithtown Water. We'll have a less anime cues with smoothies. Yeah, we'll have a less anime cues with smoothies if Mike can survive the week and not kill himself because Venetia <laughs> shit on his dreams. <laughs> Venetia just no, shit on. Nice. She goes, Did you make that? I'm so sorry, Mike. I have to be honest. I don't love it. I don't love it. And we should love it. Word. Yeah, dope. Word. Fuck it. It's not dope. All right, and, I'm uh, Frank out. Rizzo 2020 sticker coming out pretty soon, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Frank Rizzo 2020. Yeah. yeah Frank Rizzo 2020. Uh, By myself, I'll take his physical. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you crumb. Yeah. You yeah. crumb. Yeah. crumb. Yeah. All right, so that was Jack uh, the Ripper. All right. So, yeah, it was Jack the Ripper. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate all the support. I'm going to go suck a dick. <laughs> Hi, what's up? This is uh, it's Mike. How you doing? This is Mike. Uh, this is Mike Moji Face from History Hyenas, and we just wanted to see how if you like these uh, logos that we made for them. And hi, um, this is Venetia, the new girl from um, from the History Hyenas. Mad love U- UWS for life. I'm going to Greece. Um, I just want to say, Bailey, thanks so much for your support and service from what you've done so far. Thanks for making posters for Chris um, and only charging him like a low amount. And, like it, We really appreciate it. So, word, like, word. Word, word up. Upper West Side for live, bitch. See you later. And this is uh, Zach Isis. Um, what happened was the train fell down and so I was late and I don't know where my soundboard is. I think it's up my ass or Chris's ass. Uh, praise be to Allah. And this is no dwarf but no eating in my studio. <laughs> yeah, and this is Bobby. I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just gonna get what she's gonna get. Yeah, she's just gonna open up that mess. Listen, you're just gonna get what you're gonna get. We're history hyenas. We're here for a good time and certainly not a long time. Cause do Who's you this real- now? Who's this? Uh, Jake Salisbury. Jake Salisbury. Have you realized that uh, you're a blonde and I'm a brunette? Yeah. And we're two Wikipedia slots? Jake. Hello? What's up, man? This is Chris Stefano from the History Hyenas and Giannis Papas. You got your dick tucked back? Get your chopstick outs and put them in your ass. Hello? Tuck back your dick and make it a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the History Hyenas, Jake. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Oh, wow. This what? kid's a fucking FF. What are you doing? <laughs> You're Frank's and Beans. What are you doing? 
Uh, chilling at work, walk around the warehouse, make it look like I'm doing something. Yeah. Do you, do you, you ever do you ever walk around the warehouse and just to just to spice it up a little bit? You just you tuck your dick back and stick a couple of chopsticks up your ass. <laughs> A little bit every now and it is Thursday. It is uh, it is Chinese food Thursday. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. East, e- so when you when you go gay, say I, I want you to call it Eastern Hemi Thursday from now on. All right, Eastern Hemi Thursday sounds good. Yeah. I'll put what, that on the calendar. What state are you from? Ohio. Trump twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> are you going I Trump? Mean, are you like, going Trump this year? Next year? Uh, you, you don't no. have to answer. It. Yeah. Just say it. I'm not. Yeah. I can't lie to you. You're a f- not for <laughs> though. Yeah, no, he's I a smart kid. No, we, we 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 don't we don't go Trump. We don't even tell. We don't. You don't know. People. We joke around so much. Nobody knows what our true political beliefs are. I'm AOC. You're AOC. I'm not even a U.S. citizen. I'm Canadian. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I'm a Canadian. Justin Trudeau. Did. What 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 kind of warehouse do you work at? I work for a hydraulics factory. Nice. nice. Uh, you see, we still do make a few nah, things in this country. You making it make us proud. Thank you so much. You've, we've reached the Haybert time limit, um, but I just want to oh, say, hey yep. <laughs> uh, hey Bert. I just want to say thank you. Quick, for your services. Just real quick, me and Yanni like to ask, what's been your favorite part of the podcast so far? Oh, you steel were, pipe, Christy. Steel pipe, Christy. You were about to put Mike steel down and fart, Christy. and you realized Venetia was here. Yeah, I just saw that happen. <laughs> We all watched you go through the motion. He was about to fart in the mic, and he realized, oh, we got uh, there's a piece in the room. No, I was going to do it, but it crept back up in. Cause make no mistake, Father Bill's joined the Patreon, so now my ass is just hiding again. Cuz, well, why don't you get your chopsticks out and pull it out? Pull it out. Like a piece of sushi. All right, Jake, we got to go. Stay tucked back. Yeah, I love how we just hang up on him. Jake's a good kid. He's yeah, an American like kid. Yeah, Frank's and Beans, 100% he's cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep calling. Benetia, you can't keep the cookies. I'm gonna eat them all. I wanna, I wanna live with your grandmother. All right. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll hit her up. I'll be like, yeah, yeah. She was she, she born? Is she born here in Greece? She's born in Spadati. Spadati. She's a Greek girl. Benetia, have cookies. Bring them for the boys. Bring the cookies for the boys. <laughs> Let's call Venetia's grandma. You have this Let's call Venetia's brother and brothers and ask them if it's okay if Chrissy takes her to the movies. How about that? Mike Mush. Let's call your ex-wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, you've reached Jillian. I'm unable to get to Jillian, my phone yeah. right now. I'll call you back as soon as I get the message. Thanks. Have a great day. At the tone. Please record okay, your nice. message. Yeah, go ahead, when go you ahead. have finished recording, you Hop may hang on when up you want. Ready? or press yeah, 1 for me. more options. Hey, how you doing, Jillian? Listen, this is Sean Tarry from Lad 14, uh, History Hyenas Podcast Affiliate. Uh, we're a subsidiary of the History Hyenas. I want you to know that, listen, we're at war with that religion. Everybody knows what we're talking about. This is Patrick Mulroney. Colleen Jr., sit down. Um, it's been 4,683 days since 9-11. I just want to say thank you so much for your service. Um, and as best you can, um, if you, I'm, a, I'm asking all my uh, fellow firefighters if uh, I'm asking. Hold on one second. Yeah, if you want to... <laughs> if you if you don't want if you don't want the wall, then you go down on that board and you got it yourself. And you took it yourself and um and yeah. Ladder fourteen. Ladder fourteen. Ladder fourteen. Yeah. So, thank you so much for your service. We gotta go. We got a true FF coming in. <laughs> Gay guys float. They don't really walk. They just kind of just fucking float. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Hey. Have a real love. Who is this? Nick Avarilla. Nick Avarilla, what's up, man? It's Chris Stefano and Giannis Pappas from the History yeah, Hyena. What's up? What's up? What are you doing, what's man? Up, you dude? talk back? What's up? Do you got your dick tucked I'm between your legs? I'm driving right now. Oh. Where are you driving yeah, to? Yeah, 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 yeah. Driving home from, uh, just went to Best Buy, buy some shit. What'd yeah. you get? What's up? Some, uh, electronic. I needed to get an SD card for, uh, you know, what, camera. you know what I like about Nick? Nick is a laid back yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a laid back kid, Nick. You're a laid back kid, yeah. Nick. Thick dick, Nick. Yeah, thick yeah, dick. I'm a young kid, you know. How old are you, kid? How, how, no worries. How old are you? 25. 25. Yeah, you're wow. a young kid. You haven't figured anything out yet in life. Yeah, you and you and ISIS can yeah, go I, hang out I, at I Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> you, ISIS, and Venetia yeah, can go to Chuck E. Cheese. 
if you had to, if you had to, if you had a gun to your head and you had to either had to crack open Zach Isis or Mike Mike Emoji Face, which one would you do? I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Zach because I'm not into the you know the chubby ones, you know. <laughs> yeah, Mike's losing Mike. Mike's losing weight though. We've been two hours. He's been staring at a, a toasted blueberry muffin with butter. He hasn't even taken a bite. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty good, good shit, right? Mike, good shit. Yo, Nikki, what's your favorite moment on the podcast, Cuzzy? Uh, I've listened to them all, and easily the Michelangelo episode was ten out of ten. Yeah, ten I out of ten. The hijab, hijab part, man. Yeah, uh, when when That's Chrissy cool. said that the uh, hijab is the person that gave him the parking ticket, and the hijab is the yeah. is what he yeah. puts on his head. When that he was checks. wild. Yeah, that was. We got to make that an Instagram clip. That, that was, was wild. That. Do you like? Yes, you do. I, I need to sit. Do you feel like you're? A, you feel like you're a smarter kid. I mean, no offense, you don't sound like the brightest kid. But now, do you feel like because you listen to history hyenas, you can go to a party and be like, guess what? Michelangelo was a gay kid. I'm I'm a smart kid. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. Of course. Yeah, I know. I know. You guys have been teaching me a little bit of history. Yeah. Listen, babe, you're at the Hey Bert time limit, so we just we just want to we just want to say thank you so much, and we also just want to ask you, um, real quick, um, what do I want to ask you? Um, how big is your penis? What kind of piece you got? Uh, yeah. Are you circumcised? <laughs> I'm no, I ain't a J O O. You ain't a J O O. So, you, so you got you got a you got a clean piece of beef, or you, or you don't? <laughs> I got I got a, I got a clean clean uh, seven inch piece. Yeah, wow, All right, decent cause. piece. Yeah, decent piece. All right, uh, thanks for the service. We'll call we'll call you at some point again in your life. Love it. Right. A clean piece of beef. Cause you just make that up. Yeah, yeah, that's a ten out of ten. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. What you got a clean? You got a clean piece of beef? Yeah. Yeah. How many more we got, Mike? Uh, we'll do two more. Yeah, let's do two more. Oh, six three one. We're calling Long Island. This is the out in the island. We're calling out in the island. How you doing? This is Sean Terry for Ladder 14. Listen, when I retire, I'm thinking about going to Levittown. Can you, uh, is this a real estate office? Yeah, I need something with an above ground pool. Yeah, with a fence facing uh, the interstate. There is no interstate because we're out on the island. Yeah, yeah. But I need the, the, my backyard there to be a fence on the other side uh, is a highway. And I need to be close, put me close to a, a TD bank drive through Yeah. And I need to be able to get Dunkin' Donuts for the kids. Just for the kids. Yeah. Not 14. Yeah. Hi, this is Sarah Stone. I'm to call. Hey. This is Venetia. What's her name? Sarah Hagen Miller. Hi, Sarah Higgin Miller. Um, this is Chris DiStefano from the History Hyenas podcast, and I'm with Giannis Pappas. Hi, how you doing, Sarah? And we're just calling you. You're from um, your name, last name's Higgin Miller, yeah. and I feel like you're a school teacher from Long Island. So I just wanted to call, like, and sound like one of your um, one of your other school teacher friends that probably talks like this. Yeah, um, we're going to Huntington tonight. Do you want to come? Um, there's few cool bars and we're gonna meet some boys we're gonna meet some boys and yeah and oh my god do you remember like last year when rebecca like she accidentally held hands with the black guy yeah and he went to hamstra and he was on the <laughs> basketball team oh my god and like i can imagine her dad found out yeah right yeah right she'd be so in trouble thank god we fucking live in and Melville. it's not about that no yeah we're smart we live in suffolk we live in Suffolk County. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Do we want to, do you want to go to a sushi restaurant that has purple neon lighting? All right. Let me just change just real quick before the voicemail runs out. This is Chris Stefano and Giannis Pappas. We're obviously just kidding. Um, Wei Shun Chien for the black eye comment. And the truth of this situation <laughs> is I've been masturbating a lot on my love sack to the thought of guys. And most of them have been black men. Yeah. He's also got a situation with the mother. We love you very much. Thank you for your service. Thank you for listening to History Hyenas. And tell your friends you are a top Level two. Two. Not two. Not two. Not I love two. cock. Bye.